is Hamilton, the short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, ardently abuse his cabinet post, destroy his reputation. Welcome, folks, to the, the Adams, Adams administration. administration. Jefferson's the runner-up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now no more, Mr. Nice President. Adams fires Hamilton, privately calls him Creole <laughs> bastard in his taunts. Say what? Hamilton publishes his response. An open letter to the fat, arrogant, anti-charismatic, national embarrassment known as President John Adams. Shit. The man's irrational, he claims that I'm in league with Britain in some vast international intrigue. Bitch, please, you wouldn't know what I'm doing. You're always going berserk, but you never show up to work. Give my regards to Abigail next time you write about my lack of moral compass. At least I do my job up in this rumpus. The line is behind me, I crossed it again. Well, the president lost it again. Oh, such a rough life. Better run to your wife, you're the bosses in Boston again. Let me ask you a question. Who sits at your desk when you're in Massachusetts? You were calling you a dick back in 76, and you haven't done anything new since. New since, with no sense. You'll die of irrelevance. Go ahead, you can call me the devil. You spot him, I love you. You spot him, malevolence. Say hi to the Jeffersons and the spies all around me. Maybe they can confirm. I don't care if I kill my career with this letter. Confining you to one term. Sit down, John, you fat mother <laughs> Hamilton's out of control. This is great. He's out of power, he holds no office, and he just destroyed President John Adams, the only other significant member of his party. Hamilton is a host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. Mr. Vice President. Mr. Madison. Senator Burr. What is this? We have the check stubs from separate accounts. Almost a thousand dollars paid in different amounts to a Mr. James Reynolds way back in 1791. Is that what you have? Are you done? You are uniquely situated by virtue of your position. Though virtue is not a word I'd apply to this situation. To seek financial gain, to stray from a sacred mission. And the evidence suggests you engaged in speculation. An immigrant embezzling our government funds. I can almost see the headline, your career is done. I hope you save some money for your daughter and sons. Your best one run back where you come from. You don't even know what you're asking me to confess. confess You have nothing, I don't have to tell you anything at all Unless, Unless. If I can prove that I never broke the law Do you promise not to tell another soul what you saw? No one else was in the room where it happened Is that a yes? Um, yes Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck You see, that was my wife who you decided to what? She courted me, escorted me to bed And when she had me in a corner, that's when Reynolds extorted me for a sordid fee I paid him quarterly, I may have mortally wounded my prospects But my papers are orderly As you can see, I kept a record of every check in my checkered history Check it again against your list and see consistency I never spent a cent that wasn't mine You sent the dogs after my scent, that's fine Yes, I have reason for shame But I have not committed treason and sullied my good name As you can see, I have done nothing to provoke legal action All my answers to your satisfaction My God Gentlemen, let's go So? But people won't know what we know Burr, how do I know you won't use this against me the next time we go toe-to-toe? -to -toe? Alexander, rumors only grow And we both know what we know of a hurricane there is quiet for just a moment a yellow sky when I was 17 a hurricane destroyed my town I didn't drown I couldn't seem to die I wrote my way out wrote everything down far as I could see I wrote my way out I looked up and the town had its eyes on me 
Simply passed a plate around And total strangers Moved to kindness By my story Raised enough for me To book passage on a ship That was New York bound I wrote my way out of hell I wrote my way to revolution I was louder than the crack in the bell I wrote Eliza Love letters until she fell I wrote about the constitution And defended it well And in the face of ignorance and resistance I wrote financial systems into existence And when my prayers to God were met with indifference I picked up a pen I wrote my own deliverance In the eye of a hurricane There is quiet For just a moment Yellow sky. I was 12 when my mother died. She was holding me. We were sick and she was holding me. I couldn't seem to die. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I'll write my way out. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. I'll write everything down far as I can see. I'll write my way out. Overwhelm them with honesty This is the eye of the hurricane This is the only way I can protect my legacy Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait The Reynolds Pamphlet The Reynolds Pamphlet Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton Had a tour in a fair And he wrote it down right there Highlights The charge against me is a connection with one James Reynolds for purposes of improper speculation My real crime is an amorous connection with his wife For a considerable time with his knowing consent I had frequent meetings with her Most of them in my own house At his own house At his own house Mrs. Hamilton with our children being absent on a visit to her father No Have you read this? Well, he never gonna be president now Never gonna be president now Never gonna be president now Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. Never gonna be president now. One less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. Angelica. Alexander. Congratulations. You have invented a new kind of stupid, a damage you can never undo kind of stupid, and open all the cages in the zoo kind of stupid. Truly, you didn't think this through kind of stupid. Let's review. You took a rumor, a few, maybe two people knew, and refuted it by sharing an affair of which no one has accused you. I begged you to take a break, you refused to. So scared of what your enemies will do to you. You're the only enemy you ever seem to lose to. You know what Jefferson can do what he wants? He doesn't dignify schoolyard taunts with a response. So yeah, congratulations. You've redefined your legacy, congratulations. It was an act of political sacrifice. Sacrifice? I languished in a loveless marriage in London. I lived only to read your letters. I look at you and think, God, what have we done with our lives? And what did it get us that doesn't wipe the tears or the years away? But I'm back in the city and I'm here to stay. And you know what I'm here to do. I'm not here for you. I know my sister. Thing to worry about. Hey. 
I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, "Be careful with that one, love. He will do what it takes to survive." You and your words flooded my senses. Your sentences left me defenseless. You built me palaces out of paragraphs. You built cathedrals. I'm rereading the letters you wrote me. I'm searching and scanning for answers in every line for some kind of sign. And when you were mine. This girl into our bed. In clearing your name, you have ruined our lives. Do you know what Angelica said when she read what you'd done? She said, "You've married an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your words obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border on senseless." Paranoid in every paragraph, how they perceive you, 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 you. I'm erasing myself from the narrative. Let future historians wonder how Eliza reacted when you broke her heart. You have torn it all apart. I'm watching it burn. Watching it burn. The world has no right to my heart. The world has no place in our bed. They don't get to know what I said. I'm burning the memories, burning the letters that might have redeemed. I hope that you.